In this video, we're going to be using Sokotoa trigonometry to find unknown side lengths. Now, there's two kinds of unknown side length questions. We're going to focus on the numerator unknown style questions today. You'll see what I mean by that in a second. Let's do some questions. Here's my first question here. And I've written Sokotoa here because we're going to have to refer to that to figure out which trig ratio to use because there are three of them and only one of them is going to make sense in this question. All right, so we have this angle here. All right, that's our theta. So I'm going to write this information here. Theta equals 58. And this is a really good way of working. Okay, this is the hypotenuse because it's the longer side opposite the right angle. This is the adjacent side because it's the one next to theta. Okay, so adjacent equals 16. And then finally, I have this side here, which is the opposite because it's opposite the angle, opposite theta. Now, in this case, I don't know what that is. Now, writing this summary is really, really useful. I don't know what opposite is, I know what adjacent is, and I know what theta is. So when I'm choosing a trig ratio, I need to look at what I know and what I want to know, O and A. And then I need to look for a trig ratio that has O and A in it. So, that has O and H in it, that's no good. Ka, that has A and H in it, that's no good. Toa, that has O and A in it, so that's the one I want to use. I want to use that trig ratio, and that trig ratio written out in full is tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. So now that I know that that's the trig ratio I'm using, I can put in my values. Tan 58 equals opposite. Now opposite is the x and adjacent is 16. I've written it there. Okay, so I said that we were going to calculate unknown side lengths, ones where the numerator is unknown. That's exactly what we've got here. The numerator is unknown. Okay, how can I get x by itself? All I need to do is multiply both sides by 16. Now, if I multiply the right-hand side by 16, x divided by 16 times 16 will be x. So that's easy. And if I multiply this side by 16, I can just put 16 on the front here. 16 times 10, 58. Now, there is a multiply sign in there. You just don't have to write it. 16, 10 means 16 times 10. The last step here is to type that into your calculator. So here's my calculator. Yours will look similar. 16, 10, 10, 58. That gives us 25.61. That is our answer. The length of this side is 25.61. I'm going to do this next example super speedy because they're all the same, right? So this one here, we have an angle of 63 degrees. We'll call that theta. Now, we have this side here, which is the opposite side, so we call that O, and we don't know it, we want to know it. And we have this side here, which is opposite the right angle, so that one must be the hypotenuse, H equals 42. Okay, so that means that if, in order for me to solve this triangle, I need a trig ratio that has O and H in it. So, O and H. So that must be the one that I need to use. So I know that that formula is sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. I can then put in my values. Sine 63 equals uh, x over 42. And now I have the unknown as the numerator again. So I just multiply both sides by 42, that thing on the bottom. 42 sine 63 equals x. And now I type that into my calculator the same way as I did before, but instead of pressing the tan button, I press the sine button. My answer is x equals 37.4, 37 37.42. Okay, so you can see this is very straightforward. I've done an example with tan, I've done an example with sine, I could also do an example with cos. So something like this one, we have the angle that we know is uh, 24.2. 
we can see that the longest side is this one here, so that's the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is equal to 130. And this side here is the one next to the angle that isn't the hypotenuse, so it's the adjacent. And that's the thing that I don't know. It's why. Okay, so H and A are the sides that I want to know. Ka, cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. I put in the values that I know. I know that that angle is 24.2. I know that the adjacent is, well, I don't know what it is. And I know that the hypotenuse is 130. Multiply both sides by 130 equals cos, sorry, 130 times cos 24.2 equals y. Type that into my calculator. y equals 118.58. All right, that's as straightforward as it can get calculating an unknown side length where the numerator is the unknown.